I think I'm audible now. Yeah. Awesome. They say teaching is a noble profession. In the life of every teacher comes that one student where he will teach the teacher a lesson. Something to listen, to learn for the rest of his life. A lot of you might remember your stories from your childhood when you knew that teacher and I'm going to teach him a lesson. And maybe some of you did do that as well. Now, this story is about a teacher named Craig. He was teaching a class of woodworking in a high school. And in his class was transferred Donnie. Donnie taught a very important lesson to the teacher. Actually, the biggest lie that all men are equal. First of all, we are not all men. And second of all, we are not equal. Each and every one of us has a unique skill. Each and every one of us has a unique strength. Even identical twins are different when it comes to behavior. They have their unique strengths as well. Each and every one of us has a cup. Your cup is nothing but your genetic makeup, your sex, your skin color, as well as the interests that you have. Each of that together forms your cup. Now, when it comes to Donnie, he was misdiagnosed as mentally retarded when he was a little kid. But the teacher, the lesson that he learned was it's not the size of your cup that matters. It's how you fill it. When Donnie was transferred to the woodworking class, the teacher was really worried. He called the committee. Hey, why is this boy transferred to my class? And the committee said, well, he can't read. So we need him to learn a trade. The teacher was not very happy. After every class, the teacher was telling him the safety instructions of how to do the woodworking class. And every day, Donnie followed the instructions to the letter. Every day, Donnie was filling his cup to the fullest. Every day in every class. By the end of the six months where the course was running on, the teachers really started to like him, as well as learn from him, because he was completing his projects. And before they knew it, Donnie created a table for his mother, which he gave it to her as a gift on her birthday. Her mother, his mother was actually in tears when she saw what her boy had done. Because since his childhood, he was always considered as the weakest link in the chain. Did the, did the other students in the woodworking class not see what happening? A boy with not even half of the cup size, is filling his cup every day, completing his project, and as well as acing it, whereas some of the big cups didn't even complete their projects at the end of the at the end of the course. And that really taught him a good lesson. Because when it came to realization of what talents to choose next, what are the sports that you want to take up, Donnie had picked up wrestling. And because he was specially able, he was put in the junior's team instead of the senior's team. Now, when it came to the one and only match he got during wrestling, he got really excited. He called his teacher. He wanted his teacher to be there at that one man, that one man to be there when he was playing the only match where he got the chance to wear 500 people will come to see him play. On that day, Tony went on the mat, started to warm up. He loosened his sweatsuit and just waiting for the match to start. And that's when he heard that the player from the other team didn't show up. So he was given a bye. And he was really disappointed. The only time when he wanted to shine was being taken away from him. He hung his head low and was going back. 
And the teacher just wished if there was something he could do for the boy. The teacher didn't know why, but he stayed until the end of all the matches, when the seniors matches started to happen. And the same high school had a different player representing in the seniors matches. But for some reason, that player was disqualified and they lost the match. But still, there are 500 people who have come here. So the coach decided to substitute Donnie. Everyone could see that the contest was a mismatch. The other guy's cup was huge. He was extremely talented. He had a lot more moves. He was strong as well as confident. Whereas Donnie had only one move, wrestling. Throughout the match, Donnie was being annihilated. The other guy was scoring points at will. But every time Donnie went down, he came back up. And every time he came back up, he did the only move that he knew, wrestling. When there was just 13 seconds to go until the finish line, for some reason, Mr. Big Cup looked at the scorecard and decided to stop filling his cup. And that's when Donnie got his one chance around the guy's neck and he pinned him to the floor. The entire gymnasium erupted with cheers. Everyone wanted to see what's gonna happen next. When there were eight seconds to go, Donnie nailed him to the mat and he won. Donnie won. Tears were rolling down his teacher's eyes. And everyone was not able to believe what just happened here. And that day, the teacher ran to him, hugged him, and told him, today you taught me a lesson. Today there were two cups that were filled. It's not important how big your cup is. What's important is how you fill it. Over to you.